Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. Hello and welcome to today's webinar from Unstructured Data to Implied Intelligence uh, with VAAIC. My name is Natalie Kramer and I will be your moderator and host for today. I'm also the Vice President of Brand and Channel Management here at VA Worldwide. At VA, it has really been our privilege to work alongside and support the brave men and women in the law enforcement community for more than 20 years, both in our legacy and within our current staff. We have employed uh, former law enforcement office and practitioners. And so this is really an area that's particularly close to our hearts. And so on behalf of our team, I would just like to extend our heartfelt sympathies and condolences to the friends and colleagues of Constable Matthew Hunt, um, who tragically lost his life and his um, ended his service to his community far too soon. Um, may he rest in peace and just know that you've been in our thoughts and our prayers over the last week. Um, before we get started, I just want to go over a couple housekeeping items to really make sure that we get the most out of today's session. So first off, this session is being recorded. Uh, we will have a playback link available up on our VA Worldwide YouTube channel, channel that will be available later this week. Um, secondly, I would just ask that for the consideration of all of our participants today that you would keep your microphones muted um, just so we can ensure that we try and improve the audio quality. And lastly, we will hopefully have time for some of your questions at the end of today's session. Um, for those who have any questions, I would just ask that you type them into the chat directly, which is available at the upper right hand um, portion of your screen. So I'll be monitoring that chat feature um, and we'll save those questions to the end. If for some reason we are not able to get to your individual question on today's session live, just know that we will follow up with you individually um, after the session is over. So let's get started with today's topic. Um, today, we're really gonna focus on going through what is VAAIC. We're gonna see that demonstrated in action. And then again, hopefully we'll have time for some of those Q&A questions. So I think now perhaps more than ever, we are all challenged to do more with less, which places an emphasis on the need for increased efficiency. And our aim today is really to introduce you to VA's applied intelligence capability, which is also referred to as VA AIC. Um, and it's really our goal is to demonstrate to you how to enhance the capability of your IBM I2 investment, um, again, to increase that efficiency within your analytical workflow. So today I'm joined by two other members of the VA Worldwide Leadership Team. Um, there's myself, we also have Sam Erskine, who is our general manager, and Dave Ashton, who I presume most of you are familiar with. Dave is our Australia, New Zealand regional manager. So both of them will be presenting today. Um, as we get started, again, if there's any questions or if you have any trouble with audio or visuals, um, please direct those directly to the chat and I will do my best to support you as we get started. So as we move forward, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Sam to get us kicked off here. Hey, good morning, and uh, thank you, Natalie. I uh, apologize for the audio quality. Um, we uh, have a tropical downpour here in uh, Singapore at the, at the moment. So I'll do my best to speak up. Uh, well, good morning, everyone. Uh, as Natalie said, I'm the general manager for VA. Uh, just to give you a little bit about myself, about where a, a GM for this company comes from. Uh, I had 10 years in law enforcement. Uh, I was an intelligence analyst for a number of years. I joined the private sector in 2008. Uh, I've had regional roles with the likes of uh, uh, IBM and Fujitsu. Uh, I was actually part of the i2 company, so the company that brought out and, and invented Analyst Notebook uh, that we all know uh, during its acquisition by IBM. And I did actually previously work for VA a number of years ago, and I uh, even had a fish and chip shop on the surf coast in, in Queensland. So a varied background to come into a wonderful company to lead. So as Natalie said, why are we here? Uh, we're here to, uh, to, to share with you the applied intelligence capability, or as uh, we like to shorten it, uh, VA AIC. And I like to call it a best of breed solution uh, that's integrated into the I2 Analyst Notebook. Uh, and I say best of breed, because historically, VA used to build various plugins or, or tools for, for Analyst Notebook. 
Uh, we had a lot of people, uh, you know, beavering and tinkering away um, with a lot of aspirational work using the code to, to, to put a capability into Analyst Notebook to enhance those features of Analyst Notebook. Or we actually got contracted to build um, specific tools for clients. So they wanted uh, Analyst Notebook to behave in a particular way. They wanted to change the color of a button or they needed some sort of customization. We'd do that work for them. And what we found is that there wasn't organization or a process applied to all of this uh, invention and creation. So about a little over two years ago, um, we looked at our suite of code. So, you know, what we had stored, what we'd been working on, um, we discussed internally with staff. We asked the coders, you know, why this was built. Is it something you heard on a conference call? Is it something while you're doing work for a customer? You know, what is this particular code being designed for? Uh, we also discussed it with people with similar backgrounds like myself in law enforcement. Um, certainly Dave with his military intel background. Um, this is all done internally, but a big part of it and a, a big part of our assessment was actually spending time with our clients uh, to find out what we wanted to know was what they needed most. What is it that we could deliver that would actually enhance and speed up the work they did or something that like added on or that, that Analyst Notebook really needed extra? And we came out with two main focuses. So we didn't come out with a, a product. We came out with focuses from, from, our, from our users and from the work we did internally. So the first one was reducing the time to interpret unstructured data and producing intelligence or an information or a, 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 a chart using Analyst Notebook. But without imposing on their IT department to install a new server or develop a web harvester or some sort of uh, tool that can, can harvest through documents and those sorts of things. They wanted something that's light touch. It's immediately integrated with Analyst Notebook and it was to be able to be used by the analyst. When we think about this, there's, there's, there's a lot of tools in the market that, that complement the, the analytical work we do. There are the harvesters, the big end solutions that will go and vacuum up all of this information and interpret it. But again, it needs the analyst, the human in the middle to interpret what that information is and turn that into actionable intelligence. So they wanted a tool right at their PC that they could look at information while they're reading it, mark up that information and add it to the chart. And that information is only relevant if we take over the metadata. We take over the information and say, where did that come from? And that increases that speed to efficiency. Not only is it putting information from that unstructured document onto the chart, but it's also taking it across about the date and time and the exact location it came from. So Dave will show you that when you go to a website and you harvest some information from that and you place it on a chart and you create an entity, it'll capture the URL. Where did that information come from? What date and time did that information come from? And it automatically does that in the background for you. You don't have to go back and type in a URL and capture it as a card. So that first focus that we achieved is a tool called Markup to Chart. Okay, the second one was a how can they apply their Anacapa tradecraft to their technology? Okay, so the, the trade, the, 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 the methodology behind why as analysts um, do their particular work or how they do it, um, is based on training and tradecraft that's, that's delivered that we actually deliver. And they wanted to take that tradecraft and speed up that process inside the tool that they traditionally use, which is Analyst Notebook. So the second part of AIC is called the Anacapa Matrix. So the best thing is that Dave will take you through those shortly. And what I wanted to just touch on before we go in there is uh, two things. One is development and one is deployment. So the second one, uh, sorry, uh, development, we actually adopted a development plan and we designated a team and we adopted an industry standard for a methodology for development. So we use Scrum Agile methodology. So the AIC that you buy today is going through continual enhancements and improvements. We take that through and I can tell you coming post Christmas um, in 2021, January, February, there will be a version three of AIC. It's not what you buy today is what you're always going to have we have a continual improvement process put in place. We have designated coders who, or uh, technologists who are actually doing the coding um, inside um, BA. And so we wanted to share with you that we have this continual improvement process going on. Um, so we'll always be providing enhancements, we'll be getting feedback from our users, and we'll be getting feedback internally. The second part is deployment. So if you already have Analyst Notebook, a, a vanilla version that you may have uh, purchased from IBM or you may have purchased from us historically, 
you can come to, to Dave or to our Australian sales team and you can actually buy that as a plug-in. So a plug-in is a terminology in the market where you can uh, buy that installer and you can add it to the analyst notebook that you have on your PC at the moment and you will get this applied intelligence capability added. Um, so that's an add-on to your existing installation. If down the track you don't have Analyst Notebook or you move to a new area that doesn't have it or you wish to expand the number of users in your team, speak to Dave, speak to the Tails team. We can actually give you a bundled solution where you buy Analyst Notebook with AIC bundled inside of it as one single purchase package. There's the two ways of, of doing it. So that's markup to chart. That's Anacapa Matrix. And I do thank you for your time and uh, thank you for the rain easing up. And I'll hand over to Dave to take you through some scenarios and an example of how both of these products are used. Thank you very much. Hi, everybody. I'm just going to switch my screen over. So if you bear with me a moment. And you should now hopefully see Analyst Notebook. Um, appreciate you're muted, so you can't answer me. Uh, I'm sure someone will tell me if it's not appearing. Um, but I'm the ANC manager, uh, ANZ manager for VA Worldwide. Um, and as Sam's alluded to, the development of AIC has a very much of a Kiwi flavor because Ian Diston, who's our, our technology manager here in New Zealand, uh, is the product owner for this. And so the design and the improvements that have been made to this product, along with our support teams, our tech teams in Singapore uh, and Australia have developed this latest version that we're demonstrating today. Uh, and I think the uh, the big improvements we've seen, uh, Ian's been very, very focused on the design and the workflow and talking to some of the clients who we've, uh, as we started the early stages of development, we were very keen to look at how we can uh, improve that workflow, make it familiar. And so when you see the plugin as we switch on shortly, uh, you'll see that the uh, the design uh, uh, integrates very, very well with Analyst Notebook. So there's a lot of thought and time and effort gone into that to make it uh, familiar to people. So I'm going to switch on the plugin. So you'll see Analyst Notebook for those that have version 9.2.1. It's important to note that you need that version. So make sure you are aware of that. If you're unfamiliar with your version number, then go through myself or, or whoever, if you're not actually in New Zealand, I know we have some people outside of New Zealand. So speak to one of your VA uh, client executives and we can make sure that you are on the latest version uh, and you do need 9.2.1 to run the plugin. So when you come to the plugin, we have a, a button that uh, is, the, the, the plugins themselves are, are hidden behind the tools menu. <clears throat> One of the later releases, which is being worked on right now, will have buttons appearing within the ribbon. So it'll be a lot easier to find. But if you have the plugin installed, you'll find it in the tools menu and you'll see applied intelligence capability or AIC. And here we have the two options, a Anacapa matrix and markup to chart. Now, as Sam alluded to, Anacapa matrix is, is part of the theory behind um, Analyst Notebook. And so for those familiar with the, the building of matrices um, for combining information and, and, and creating charting through linking entities, then you'll be familiar with the concept of Anacapa. I'm gonna focus at this moment on the other part of the plugin, which is markup to chart. And this again is what Sam alluded to is this is the ability to access information stored in documents and websites. And very much of the analytical workflow now requires us to access more sources uh, than we used to traditionally do, which was often structured data such as spreadsheets. So nowadays we often look to the internet to su supplement information uh, for our investigations and our charting. So once we select the markup to chart plugin, you'll see the window opens up now we can scale the window to, to fit the size we're interested in. And again, a later iteration of this will be docking it within Analyst Notebook. For now, it's a floating window. And you can see the familiarity of the design. The, color, the colors are matched, the fonts are matched. This is all the work that the tech team led by Ian have done to make sure this pro product is familiar. Now, as we mentioned, that the markup to chart plugin 
enables us to access information in documents and on web pages. Now, many people have a preference for websites uh, or web browsers. Uh, and so what we've done is we've enabled you to actually select a default search engine of your choice. So often Google is the default for many people, but here you can see a selection of other um, browsers. Uh, and in this case, I've selected DuckDuckGo. Um, often it's used uh, because it helps to track, uh, to, to hide your, your uh, web activity. Uh, and so again, if the feedback from, from, from our point of view is if you have a particular browser that you like to use, then we're always interested to hear of any types of uh, uh, evolutionary um, uh, browsers or methods that you like to use, and we can feed that back into the development team. So for now, I've selected DuckDuckGo, and I've also got a document store. So with the document store, you have the ability to add singular files or contents of a folder, and they become uh, uh, they become collected in this, in this little document store. And the one I'm going to use uh, is this one here called Operation Deadwood. I'm going to focus on a real fraud investigation from New Zealand from last year. It was a telecommunications fraud, a uh, multi-million dollar uh, fraud to very um, many vulnerable people in New Zealand. So called Operation Deadwood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new search. And this time I'm going to go to Documents. And I'm going to select the document I want by double clicking. You'll see at the bottom here, it's just loading the document. And I'm just going to stretch the window a little bit just to bring it into view. And there's a little search bar here as well. So I could type in a piece of text. If I've got a very large document, multi pages, then I can search very quickly for pieces of information. Uh, in this case, I'm going to look at three people uh, that are a part of this investigation. And the names are, are listed here in this document. And so what I'm going to do now is I've taken this document text, I've selected it. And by right mouse clicking on, on the selection, I have some options. And you'll see the familiarity again with the terminology of Analyst Notebook. So for example, entities and links. So for example, uh, I might want to add some entities. Now I've got three people here, so I don't want to do them individually. I want to create three, uh, three entities at the same time because they are listed and they're delimited by a comma. So with an advanced option, I can choose to select the type of delimiter. In this case, it recognizes that there's a comma, and so it automatically defaults there. And it's previewing the fact that it's got three names, and it's, a, it's a straight away created these three separate entities I'm now going to deliver onto the chart. So I've got some other options here. I can choose the type of icon that I want. So I'm just gonna scroll down and find an appropriate icon, again, the plugin has taken the icons available to us in Analyst Notebook, all part of that workflow and that familiarity. So I'm going to choose generic person because I don't know the, the, uh, the gender at this stage. And I can choose to represent the entity. And if you're familiar with Analyst Notebook, you'll know there are various options that you can choose. Uh, in this case, I'm going to choose icon and I'm going to select OK. And so straight away, you can see now I have my three entities selected. Now I can quickly look at this and I can right mouse click and as Sam mentioned earlier, the metadata starts to come across. So you can see here that it's created a card and it tells me the source of that information. So I'm, I now have the provenance of that information ingrained into the chart taken from that information. And particularly for um, an evidential report or information sourcing over time, you may want to say or refer to where that information was collected from. So that very quickly enables you to do it. It also tells me the date and time um, that it was added to the chart. So again, it enables me to then refer back to that and see how this chart was evolved and where the information came from. So there may be more information here that I want to choose. So if I go back to my document, I can see there that there's references to Auckland. And so again, I'm gonna select a word I'm going to add another entity. This time, I'll choose a location. Choose a place icon and click OK. So now I've got three people and I've got Auckland. 
So the next thing is um, we've got the entities. Now let's have some links. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find something. So for example, I've got association. So I've got associates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this word and I'm going to right mouse click. And this time I'm going to add a link. So the link dialog box comes up with the plugin. And as you can see here, all the entities available to me are now presented in entity A or entity B. So I can add a link to who I wish. So because they're associates, the word I've brought across is associated and it's not appropriate, it's not an accurate reflection. So I can go in very quickly and edit the link label that will be on the chart. And I can determine how to apply the associate link. Now I could do it manually, but the plugin allows me to select all the people individually on left and right. I can choose an appropriate link type as well. So from, from a semantic point of view, so the software understands the relationship, then I can do that. The other thing is I'm also able to choose particular um, link properties. So I can choose direction if I was dealing with commodity flow. I can choose the strength, again, familiarity with Analyst Notebook, and I could change the width and the color. So again, all these options to me, which I would expect to have in Analyst Notebook, are also included in the, in the plugin. So I click OK, and you can see now that it's added all the links across all three. So it's a very quick way of adding links to the information. So the next thing is, I want to add more information. So I'm going to now go back to my analyst notebook uh, plugin, my AIC plugin, and I'm going to create a new search. But this time, I'm going to go to the internet. Now I'm doing this live through the internet. So I'm now going to type in Operation Edward. And I've got various options here. So I'm going to choose um, this particular uh, report. And this gives me more information, but I've also got some images. I can see the names here are also the three that I've got from my document. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select an image. And very, very quickly. Oh, just uh, take that off. <laughs> I, should, I had to. I shouldn't have something selected first, so I'll just deal with the three people here. So I'll do that again. Doing it live always, uh, always a bit of fun. Uh, I'll select the photograph, and I can choose the person this is appropriate to. In this case, it's Hitesh. Click OK, and then very quickly you'll see that it shows on the chart. So I'll do the other three as well, just to show how quick this is. This is Manish. And the final one. Now, this is also very useful if you've got a combination photograph, something where you may have lots of clutter or information that's presented to you. You can do an extract and crop just the part of the image you want and then apply that as the image. So it's a quite quick and useful uh, tool to have. And this person is the final person, Trishir. So click OK. And so I've added the photographs. And as we did before, I can go back now, right mouse click, look at the item properties, and I can see here that it's added another card, one for the entity, which was the first thing we did, and the second one is adding a picture, and again, you get the, the straight away to the website that it was stored for, and it also includes as a reference in the entity as well, so it's all collected um, for you to, to access and refer to uh, later on. Um, and so the final thing I might want to do, I might just want to give it a quick title, so I'll go back to my other tab because the tabs stay open. Um, I've got Operation Deadwood, right mouse click, add as a label, choose an appropriate size. And there's a quick way of adding, a, adding information to a chart. The one thing I just want to refer to, particularly for those that do have access to the plugin, then there is a built-in help menu that's been written. I'll just pull that into the right screen. Uh, and you'll see all the various information uh, that you need to know about Anacapa and for markup to chart. So all the information uh, you need is there.
So this is a very quick overview of the plugin. Um, we've got time now to go back to the team for a QA. and a um, So thanks for your time. Uh, and of course, please re uh, come back to us or your local client executive for more information. But I'm just going to hand back over now to, to Natalie. Thank you, Dave. Thanks for that overview and demonstration of Operation Deadwood. Um, I don't see any questions in the chat at this time. Um, with it being a fairly small team on here right now, if there is a question you'd like to ask, go ahead and unmute your line, um, and we can go ahead and ask those questions. Okay, and if there's no questions at this time, I know that was a, a lot of information in a very short period of time. So certainly um, we would welcome any follow-up conversations that you might have, any questions that come up afterwards or as you rewatch the presentation um, as it's posted on YouTube, then we certainly are available. Um, we do wanna keep it to that 30 minutes that we committed to you today. So on behalf of Sam, Dave, and myself and the entire VA Worldwide team, we just wanna thank you for um, spending a little bit of your day with us. I hope you found today's presentation and discussion insightful. Um, I do wanna just provide you with some of our contact information as well, so that if you do have any of those questions around AIC or you want to know more information, um, I just wanna point you to the links we have here up on the screen under the contact us section. So I would encourage you to follow us if you don't already on LinkedIn and Twitter. Um, we post regular updates throughout the week on our portfolio, what we're up to, um, latest product releases and all of that information. Also visit our YouTube channel. There's a whole section and product demonstrations on VA AIC. There's also a, a tips and tricks channel that we've created and um, that goes again into further detail around both the markup to chart capability as well as the Anacapa matrix. So again, it's a, an opportunity for you to see some quick short tutorials and videos to help you get a better understanding of those two capabilities and also learn some tips and tricks of how to use that um, in the work that you're doing. We also feel free again, um, for those in New Zealand, if you have any questions, any follow-up, don't hesitate to reach out to Dave directly. Um, you can also contact us at the information that's on the right here, their phone number, visit us at our website at vaworldwide.com. Um, really, we just wanna thank you again for, for taking some time to, to spend with us today. Um, we look forward to hopefully being able to join together with you in person um, soon, but in the meantime, stay safe. Uh, stay healthy, be well, and thank you again for your time today.